Our top story, the Prime Minister has arrived in Samarkand in Uzbekistan where leaders of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization are meeting tomorrow. He will come face to face with President Xi of China, President Putin of Russia, as well as Pakistan's Prime Minister, Shahbaz Sharif. Now, India has a tricky relationship with all three at the moment. So, interesting hours and days ahead. Maha uh, reports from uh, Uzbekistan with all the latest. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has landed in Samarkand for the SCO summit. Uh, the main function of the summit is going to start tomorrow in the morning and it will go on till about afternoon and post uh, 2.33 p.m. here Samarkand time uh, is when the Prime Minister will be holding uh, the bilateral meetings. All eyes are keenly trained on those bilateral meetings that the Prime Minister will be holding. Uh, so the Foreign Secretary Vinay Kwatra has confirmed that uh, one bilateral meeting will be held with, of course, the host uh, Uzbekistan. However, the other meeting has been confirmed by the Russian side, and we know that it's part of the Prime Minister's schedule as well, which is a bilateral meeting with uh, a Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Russian side has already put out the agenda. Uh, they have said that they will be discussing India's uh, UNSC presidency as well as G20 presidency. The UNSC presidency is significant because uh, uh, in the month of December, India assumes the chair of UNSC, United Nations Security Council, which will be towards the fag end of its non-permanent membership of the UNSC as well. And that is the same time when the G7's decision on price capping of Russian oil will also kick in. So the timing and the reason why this is being discussed between the two sides uh, uh, during the meetings uh, on the sidelines of the SEO summit are certainly significant. On the other hand, uh, there is also a bilateral meeting slotted for the Prime Minister with uh, uh, the Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. He is here and Iran, in fact, uh, will become a member of uh, the SCO. Uh, the announcement and decision will be made in Samarkand and then they will become the ninth member of the SCO. Remember, Iran is also one country which is... Uh, under the sanctions of uh, the United States and that is why we have seen that India had to bring down uh, its oil imports from Iran to zero in the year 2018. And finally, all eyes are also very keenly trained on two meetings which have not been revealed uh, and uh, uh, the expectation though is that at least one might be held in the form of a pull aside. Uh, this is with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Expectations were raised because of uh, the disengagement that was seen at Gogra Hot Springs Patrol Point 15. Uh, the other one, uh, which is or possibly could be with uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, we're not expecting much in that, apart from the fact that India uh, could express condolences over the deaths of people in the floods there. All right, in other news, two sisters from a scheduled caste community, um, 17 and 15, were raped, murdered, and then hung from a tree in Uttar Pradesh's Lakhimpur by five men. The police claim they solved the crime within hours of the incident with the arrest of five accused, as well as a sixth man who reportedly introduced the girls to the accused. He was, in fact, shot in the leg as he was trying to escape the police. But it has generated a huge war of words between the opposition and the Yogi Adityanath government, the family, to, um, in fact, not allowing cremations until they were promised a fast-track trial and compensation. Six arrests by the UP police in just over 12 hours. After these two minor girls, 17 and 15, were found hanging from a tree near their village home in the Lakhimpur district. Their families alleged the girls, sisters and from the SC community had been abducted, raped and murdered. In a statement, the police said, the names of the accused are Suhail, Junaid, Hafizul Rahman, Karimuddin and Arif. A sixth man, Chotu, a neighbour of the girls who allegedly introduced them to these men, has also been arrested. Yesterday, the girls were taken to a sugarcane field and raped and strangled by Suhail and Junaid, the police said, adding that the others helped the two get rid of the evidence by staging the hanging to make the deaths appear like a suicide. The police say the post-mortem reports of the victims corroborate their theory that the girls were first raped, then strangled and then 
hung from a tree. But the family of the victims contradicted some of the police's claims. The police claimed the girls went willingly with the accused on their bikes. But the family said they were abducted by the accused. The police claimed the girls and at least four accused were friends. The family said they were unaware of the friendship. We have tried with utmost uh, sensitivity and family has no issues with us uh, whatsoever. So, our wish is that it should also be more than one car. Hello. It may be that there are more people in it, or there are other people involved in it, who are not taking the name. Three people, who are our wife, 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 who are our wife. सर जो है जो बात कह रही है पुलिस वो भी हम हम भी जानना चाहते हैं कि बात जो है प्रशासन कह क्या रहा है अगर हमारे पे कोई जो है बिलेम लगा रहा है तो हम जानना चाहते हैं कि बिलेम वो है क्या आपके ऊपर बिलेम नहीं लगा रहा उनका ये कहना है कि उनकी दोस्ती थी उन लड़कों से और फिर वो इसके भी इसके भी कुछ तथ्य रहे होंगे सबसे पहले गाँव मोहल्ले में परिवार को पता चलता है की ऐसे तथ्य थे प्रशासन शासन को तो बाद में जो है पता चलेगी तो इसके तथ्य जो होंगे तो हमें भी जो मिलना चाहिए जिससे हमें तो भी तो पता चले की हमारे घर के तथ्य थे क्या The state's BJP government, led by Yogi Adityanath, faced with stinging questions from the opposition, promised exemplary punishment. But opposition parties said the crime was a reflection of how law and order has collapsed in the BJP's rule. It is a very dangerous thing. What was the police doing? What was the procession doing? What was the law and order? Look, it is the same as Lakhimpur, where the cars are put on the road. Today, it is the same as Lakhimpur. दो बच्चियों की किडनैपिंग हुई हत्या हुई रेप के भी चांसेस बता रहे हैं जिस तरह की कार्रवाई हमेशा से रेप केसेस में उत्तर प्रदेश की सरकार करती रही है हम लोगों को शंका है कि सही मायने से उनको न्याय मिलेगा कि नहीं इस प्रकरण में पूरी तरह से सरकार इन पर ऐसी कार्रवाई कठोर करेगी कि आने वाली पीढ़ियाँ की रूह भी कांपेगी इन अभियुक्तों की और पूरी तरह से सरकार पीड़ित परिवार के साथ है हर स्थिति में उनको न्याय मिलेगा पूरे प्रकरण को हम फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट में ले जाएंगे और शीघ्र से शीघ्र सजा दिलाएंगे विपक्ष के वो आप जानते हैं कि जब उनकी सरकार थी तो उस समय की घटनाओं को उन्हें याद करना चाहिए हमारी सरकार ऐसी सभी घटनाओं को गंभीरता से लेती है ऑन वेंसडे नाइट द पुलिस फेस प्रोटेस्ट बाई एंग्री विलेजर्स हु ब्लॉक दे वे वेन दे वेंट टू द गर्ल्स होम टू टेक द बॉडीज फॉर अ पोस्टमार्टम In this video, Lakhimpur police chief Sanjeev Suman is heard asking protesters to stop blocking a road. The Lakhimpur case has brought back horrifying memories of a 2014 incident in western Uttar Pradesh's Badayu. Where the bodies of two cousin sisters were found hanging from a tree. In Lakhimpur, with Pratik Shrivastav, Rajesh Gupta, and Vineet Kumar, this is Alok Pandey, NDTV. Disturbing news also coming in from Hyderabad, where the police have now, in fact, managed to arrest two suspects or taken them into custody for their alleged role in the kidnapping and sexual assault of a minor girl. CCTV footage, in fact, revealed that the girl had been taken to two different hotels where she and the suspects spent a night each. Uma Sudhir joining us uh, with the latest details on that story. Uma, what else do we know? The girl went missing on uh, Monday evening, in fact, and it was on Tuesday morning that the mother lodged a complaint after which abduction was, uh, uh, you know, a com case of abduction was registered by the police. And yesterday in the evening is when they found uh, that the girl had been abandoned at a place in Chagargat where uh, the police went and picked her up. And subsequently, the mother says the girl was hardly able to even uh, walk. And uh, the girl had uh, reportedly told the mother that uh, she was assaulted uh, by two men. Uh, what has now happened is the case of one abduction, two uh, of gang rape, and three uh, also of, uh, you know, under uh, POXO has been registered against two men. They are looking for forensic evidence. Why they changed to... Uh, hotel that also is being investigated. CCTV footage is showing the uh, uh, where the movement of the girl had happened, how she was initially taken in a car and subsequently moved from hotel to hotel, whether that is because someone got suspicious, started asking questions, whether they were able to provide identity or did not provide the right identity. All those are questions that the police is now uh, trying to answer. So only uh, uh, a bit that they would like to not tie up is, of course, the forensic evidence. The girl has been sent for uh, medical tests and counselling as well, and the forensics should be able to establish the link between the two suspected accused and uh, the, uh, the victim in this case. 
All right, Omar, thanks uh, for all of those details. A day after 8 out of 11 Congress MLAs in Goa defected to the BJP, the Chief Minister has indicated to NDTV that uh, there are not going to be um, any changes to the cabinet or any expansion to the cabinet just yet. He claimed in fact that uh, the BJP hadn't even approached these MLAs, it was because they were unhappy with their parent party. He spoke to NDTV's Saurabh Shukla. प्रमोद जी आप लोग बड़ा कंफर्टेबल सरकार चला रहे थे 25 विधायक हैं क्यों आप लोगों को कांग्रेस के आठ विधायकों की जरूरत पड़ी कांग्रेस के आठ विधायक आने के लिए तैयार थे और माननीय मोदी जी इतना अच्छा देश भर में काम कर रहे हैं और मैं यहाँ पे गोवा में इतने बढ़िया काम डबल इंजन की सरकार से हो रहा है तो वो आना चाहते थे तो हमने उनको कहा कि वेलकम किया आप... और वो भी ऐसे वक्त में जब राहुल गांधी देश में भारत जोड़ो यात्रा निकाल रहे हैं कांग्रेस एक बहुत बड़ा इवेंट कर रही है पिछले दस सालों में इतना बड़ा इवेंट उन्होंने किया नहीं और ऐसे वक्त में आपने यहाँ पर लोग कह रहे हैं कि ऑपरेशन कमल कर दिया नहीं यहाँ से कांग्रेस छोड़ो यात्रा स्टार्ट हो गई है उनकी भारत जोड़ो यात्रा जो राहुल गांधी कर रहे थे मुझे लगता है कि गोवा से कांग्रेस छोड़ो यात्रा शुरू हो गई है क्योंकि जो कोई बचे बचे कांग्रेस के छोटे मोटे लीडर्स हैं वो भी अभी कांग्रेस छोड़ने वाले हैं हमने पहले भी कहा है कि वो खुद होके विदाउट एनी कंडीशंस भारतीय जनता पार्टी को जुड़े हैं तो उनके बीच में कुछ डिस्कशंस उनको बुलाया नहीं होंगे इसलिए बचे होंगे आप, सर क्या आप ये जो आठों विधायक हैं आपके साथ दिल्ली जाएंगे दिल्ली जा रहे हैं सेंट्रल लीडरशिप से मिलेंगे आप लोग उसके बाद कुछ तय होगा आगे कैसे सरकार में इंडक्ट करना है आपने अभी बोल रहे हैं कि बिना कंडीशन के आप आए और सुबह आज गवर्नर से भी मिले हैं आप कह रहे हैं कोई रूटीन मीटिंग थी और पॉलिटिक्स में रीड बिटवीन द लाइन्स होता है मैं जो अभी नए लोग हमें जुड़े हैं उनको हाँ दिल्ली तो जाएंगे अभी डिसाइड नहीं हुआ यानी पी एम अध्यक्ष इनको मिलने के लिए लेकिन ऐसा कुछ रीशेफलिंग वगैरह कुछ नहीं है गवर्नर साहब के साथ मेरी शेड्यूल्ड मीटिंग थी उसी लिए मैं मिलने गया था अभी भी मैं फिर से कह रहा हूँ कि दिल्ली वगैरह उनको मिलने के लिए पीएम साहब एच एम और अध्यक्ष के लिए होगा लेकिन वैसे रीशेफल या बाकी कुछ नहीं है as uh, a fight rages uh, following gujarat snagging the 20 billion dollar vedanta foxconn project maharashtra's chief minister eknath shinde has had a phone conversation with prime minister modi who reportedly promised a similar project or even a better one to maharashtra a day later vedanta chairman anil agarwal tweeted saying his company was fully committed to investing in maharashtra as well The Shiv Sena's Uddhav faction and the NCP targeting Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis for allowing the Vedanta Foxconn project originally planned in Maharashtra to be shifted to Kolbaum Gujarat. As the Shinde Fadnavis led government scrambled to respond to the opposition's charge that they have let a golden opportunity slip for Maharashtra. Vedanta's Ani Agarwal tweeted calling it a professional decision and saying his company is committed to investing in Maharashtra as well. Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis was quick to thank the company for announcing a Vedanta Foxconn affiliate project in the state. The Foxconn project floated during the Farnavis regime was facilitated by the Uddhav Thakre government with ministers Subhash Desai and Aditya Thakre holding meetings to bring the semiconductor project to Maharashtra. Now it's Aditya Thakre and the erstwhile Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi government which is leading the charge. Huge disappointment, frustration, anger. Clearly because over 3 lakh young dynamic students on merit would have got jobs and opportunities and they are going to be deprived of it. All political parties should get together and fight this with the central government. Our government is working for Gujarat. Reports say Shinde has spoken to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and has been assured that soon such big projects that will increase employment will be given to Maharashtra. In Mumbai with Abhishek Sharma, Osama Shah for NDTV. 
All right, let's move on for the moment to news coming in from the World Health Organization. And for the first time, uh, the chief of the WHO has said that the number of newly reported COVID-19 cases has dropped dramatically and that the world must seize this opportunity to end the pandemic once and for all. We have never been in a better position to end the pandemic. Last week, the number of weekly reported deaths from COVID-19 was the law since March 2020. We're not there yet, but the end is in sight. A marathon runner does not stop when the finish line comes into view. She runs harder with all the energy she has left. So must we. Back, big changes expected in cricket administration in India with reports that uh, the BCCI could be backing Board President Saurabh Ganguly to be the next ICC chairman, which would in turn pave the way for Jay Shah to become the next BCCI president. Rika Roy brings us those exclusive details. This is the biggest sports story we are tracking at this hour and it doesn't come from the pitch but from the sports boardroom. Sources within BCCI have told NDTV that they will be proposing Saurav Ganguly to become the next chairman of ICC. Remember, Saurav Ganguly is the current president in BCCI. Now, Ganguly can become the chairman of ICC if he is elected to the body. The uh, chairman of ICC, Greg Barclay, right now, he has uh, uh, is there and he can continue for another period of two years but his term ends in November which is when elections will take place to become the ICC chairman one needs to have nine of 16 votes which means uh, one needs to have 51 percent of the votes now ICC has also said that it will talk about it in the future but right now uh, having Saurav Ganguly or talking about Saurav Ganguly, the chairman, is too early. If Saurav Ganguly goes to ICC, what happens in BCCI? Well, the seat falls vacant and it will be occupied by Jay Shah. Jay Shah is currently the secretary of uh, BCCI. He will become the BCCI president and Arun Dhumal, who is right now the treasurer of BCCI, will then become the secretary. So lots of changes are expected in the BCCI and in ICC over the next two months. But perhaps a big news, big, big news coming for India in the month of November.